three of them told us that they would back mystery, while one, of course, declined to comment. Uh, Shireen Bhan and Ronajoy Banerjee have been working the phones and doing the legwork, and they join us uh, bright and early this morning. Shireen, you go first. Uh, what did you get uh, uh, from the Tata Motors directors you spoke with? Well, these are private conversations, as I have to point out right at the outset. But uh, it is very clear, and uh, across the board, the, the four directors that we spoke with, the one chose not to comment, but the other three uh, said that they were disconnected with the decision that had been taken by the Tata Sons board. In fact, they went on to say that there was a sense of shock and sadness, uh, disappointment with the decision that had been taken and the manner in which this decision had been taken. Also, uh, you know, when we pointedly asked them questions on, uh, for instance, Mr. Mystery's letter about the nano project being kept alive for emotional reasons and so on and so forth, they did acknowledge the fact that, yes, at the level of the board, there were concerns raised about the future of the nano, but there was a difference. Uh, at least one of the directors and Bron, my colleague, um, spoke with one of them, uh, who said that it's not so easy to shut, just shut down the project overnight. So while the board was cognizant of uh, the falling volumes, was cognizant and concerned about the future of the nano, uh, they didn't quite uh, seem to agree with the view expressed by Mr. Mistry in his letter that the nano project was kept alive only for emotional reasons. But that said, it's going to be interesting to see what transpires now at the level of these individual boards. Remember, Cyrus Mr continues to be chairman not just of Tata Motors but of several other Tata companies, listed entities. The process of replacing him by Tata Sons has not started as of now. My sources tell me it will happen sooner rather than later. But it will be interesting to see if independent directors were to take a different view and a different line from the decision that has been taken by Tata Sons. But let me not, uh, uh, you know, encroach on what Ron has also picked up because he's got the important news bit that likely uh, independent directors of Tata Motors will meet ahead of the board meeting. Ron? To add before Ron, uh, you know, uh, 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 Shireen, uh, in Tata Motors, the Tata holding is only 33%. So it's quite possible that anyway they may not have a majority. But over to you, Ron, what did you find? Well, essentially what Shireen was saying, you know, because the sense that I'm getting is that the independent directors are not going to take this line low. Many of these directors who, who we reached out to uh, last evening, they told us that they are likely to meet ahead of the 14th November crucial board meeting that's going to take place, uh, 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 the, the crucial Tata Motors board meeting, and to really discuss the manner in which, uh, uh, you know, the whole Silas Mystery affair was handled. Clearly, there are a lot of concerns, and these independent directors are likely to bring these concerns, uh, you know, to the attention of the rest of the board if, you know, Tata Sons actually ask the, you know, the directors on the boards of individual companies to actually vote out Cyrus Mystery. Remember, you know, when it came to removing Cyrus Mystery as the chairman of Tata Sun, six out of the seven or eight board members had voted, uh, you know, in favor of that. Clearly, it's not going to be, uh, you know, easy at this point to, to remove Cyrus Mystery. You will need a simple majority. Who knows? They might still get a simple majority, but at least the independent directors will be raising some serious concerns on that. As we reported about the nano yesterday, you know, many of the independent directors also told us, uh, you know, on the board of Tata Motors that Cyrus Mystery was in fact an excellent chairman and they were shocked and saddened by the turn of events. In fact, in fact one gentleman went on to say that uh, Mr. Mystery always took a consultative approach, which is important because what this individual was essentially trying to hint at is that you cannot blame one individual for the follies of the company, whatever decisions were taken, were taken at the board level, and, uh, you, you know, and the entire board was cognizant of the decision. So it's unfair to target only one individual. And my sense here, Lata, is that this was, we're only talking about Tata Motors at this stage. We also spoke with an independent director on the board of Tata Steel. He also had similar concerns. The Tata Steel board will be meeting later next week. So, you know, we might be expecting now some of the independent directors who, who've so far been mum on this issue are now coming out, at least at this stage, privately. But rest assured, in the board meetings, few key individuals who had a long association with the Tata group of companies will be raising concerns in the manner in which the Cyrus Mystery affair was handled. Okay. Incidentally, in Tata Steel, the, they have only 30.